Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. You're back with me, Cool Dude Clem, with more work on my homemade power supply. Oh, yes, and I've got to do a little bit of a clean up here. Still got my old internet stuff, which I'm not using anymore. Because I now got one of them super hubs. Actually, I've got a little thing I want to ask about that, which I'll do in a later video. Anyway, back to this power supply. Well, I've started putting everything on this base, as you can see, but I've been thinking I'm going to make a little change to this design. Now, you may remember this circuit here, which was the. Um, op-amp based voltage regulator and although that does work I think I'm gonna remove that and use that in something else I've removed the crap we don't need I'm about to test this you see I had this built like you can see here except of course the other circuit was there and uh, the other stuff that goes with it and I measured the voltages to make sure everything was working and a few moments later I grabbed my meter to test something else completely forgetting that this was connected to this and pulled the whole lot on the floor fortunately nothing got broken but I'm just going to retest everything make sure it's all still working So let's just, uh, uh, first of all, we'll connect up the negative voltage and see if that's going. Alright, I'll just turn my breaker on. Alright, we've got negative voltage. Have we got regulated negative voltage? We do. Alright, let's test the positive voltage. Yeah, got to make sure everything is working. So I'll connect up the red wire, which is the positive output. Okay, that doesn't look good. Oh, and you know what? I plugged this regulator in wrong. I haven't busted it, because I will not be happy if I have. Let's see what we got now. Okay, we've got 3.93, I think it survived. Just adjusting the voltage here. Okay, yep. We're okay, it lives. For now. Okay, do you know one experiment I've always wanted to try? Making the filament of one of these CFLs light up like a Christmas tree. And I'm going to try that right now. Don't have the ground connected to anything, but I've got the positive output connected to one end of the filament, the negative output connected to the other end of the filament, and only one of the filaments in this seems to be working. The other one's completely open. I did try this with a 9 volt battery, and I did get a little bit of light out of it, but you have to have the lights turn right out for it to be able to, to, for you to be able to see it. So we're going to connect it to the output of this power supply. And as photon and conduction would say, I'm going to crank it right up till it pops. Alright, you can just about make that out. I'm going to turn the power on now. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a lit, very faint glow right there. It's barely showing up on the camera. So I think we need to give it a bit more juice, don't you? Oh, look at that. Lovely. I don't know how hot that is. Or how much voltage we're putting in it. Actually, let's just get my voltmeter so we can see what the voltage is. Okay, and we're back. We're at 12 volts. 13 volts. 
Well, that's interesting. Ah, uh, I think I've popped it. Well, I thought you'd be interested in seeing the aftermath after that. And as you can see right here, we got a nice little black spot. It is actually a little bit see-through, although you can't really see it on the camera. So, little silvery black spot there, where I had the, where the filament burnt. Well, I did not expect it to suddenly light up like that. Don't know what actually made that happen. Maybe we got a little arc in there when the filament burnt and it started fluorescing, or something like that. But yeah, anyway, gonna get on with uh, building the rest of the power supply now. Well, I've decided after all that that I will have the other power supply circuit in there as well. I know, I'm weird. But I'm like that when I try to make up my own mind, I just uh, decide that the ideas that I originally had were best and I go back to them. Anyway, I've got to design the front panel now. I just got all my measurements there. Anyway, I'm just going to go and upload this video to YouTube. And the very next video that I do about this, which will be about the video after the next video I do, I'll be putting this together because I'll have all those panels cut out and we'll be putting it together.